through the magic alchemy of nature's most awesome sources of energy, Ray Palmer, atomic physicist, becomes the Atom, a power-packed mighty might, whose brilliant mind and great strength serve law and order against crime and injustice. Tiny Titan, scourge of evildoers, the Atom. Hurtling through Earth's orbital barrier, a seemingly harmless meteorite. But in its core, five tiny beings communicate with a distant world. Have entered Earth's atmosphere. Excellent. Remain in concealment until target is reached. Reduced by air friction to the size of an average stone, it hurtles toward a vast nuclear lab complex and plunges into the soil. Shortly after, a sample of that soil is inspected by a group of atomic scientists. What do you make of the intense radioactivity, Professor Palmer? Well, it's hard to tell without knowing where that meteorite came from. Break out, move swiftly. We must catch the earthlings off guard. Look at those strange little beetles. They look... Great neutron! Look out! You two, lock them away. The rest, follow me. Now, imprisoned in a giant vault, Professor Ray Palmer is the first to recover from the stun blasts. And seconds later, he is transformed into the world's most powerful miniature man, the Atom. Now I can get out of here. Through that lock. Great molecules. They're programming the computers for a chain reaction to blow up that atomic pile. I've got to stop it. Big tiny earthling comes to challenge us. Stamp him out like an insect. Got a message for you too, buddy boy. Sure. 
sort it out. The tiny earthling has foiled our mission. Let's get out of here. shall burn you to a cinder. Run! Run! Going somewhere, boys? This jar will hold him till the authorities get here. They came to destroy all of Earth's atomic piles, making us an easy mark for invasion. Hmm, I don't think their leaders will ever try that stunt again. No, not as long as they have the atom to reckon with.